how many people's lives have you saved? From Brookside, from Leshens. That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 52 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last time we continued to head up the road towards Novigrad, we ended up passing by a quest involving a confrontation between a Redanian soldier and a Nilfgaardian spy, or at least a supposed one. Had a game of Gwent with the innkeeper of the Cunny of the Goose, took on the contract of the White Lady, and upon entering Novigrad we defended an elf from racists and witnessed some public burnings. So we're picking up in this episode, I've actually done a bit of research where I'm actually having a little roadmap to fall today, so you'll be happy to know, unlike the absolute chaos that was the last two episodes, which I apologise for, obviously we're in this whole new area, I had no idea where we were going, I was expecting to stay in Oxford for most of the time to be honest, and there was nothing there to do, so... I went a bit blind, but I'm going to try and work on this area down here. Uh, we're probably going to start making our way up to, through Novigrad, like this way. Um, so I've got a couple of marked places. Um, there's a couple like blacksmiths and that, which aren't showing up now because it's uh, night time. So I've sorted out my armour and sword and stuff like that. And I've come to the southern gate uh, around this part, uh, between this and Tretagor. Okay, I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, there's a few missable quests and a few proper quests as well. This is the first missable quest, and if you... Uh, and on Mart quest, as I was meant to say. And if you don't do this as soon as it shows up, it will be gone forever. And it's called Karmic Justice. Now, I've seen conflicting reports as to saying this is available all day, or it's only available at night, and I've only been able to find it at night. So I'm going to assume that's what well, that is, unless I'm glitched. So let's find out what's going on over here. What's this about? This Duan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What hmm. you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. Hmm. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. I mean, I can't just leave it. If he's got no, any, if he's got no proof he's got any, then how am I supposed to believe him? Don't see any proof this man sold anyone fist tech. Let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you two shall die, Batgirl. Shame you happened on our path and chose to stand in our way. Oh, you're gonna be like that. I almost felt bad for you. But now you just lost that. I can understand. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude. <laughs> Just give me fist tech. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Oh, right, 50 crowns. Alright, that'll do. Uh, I'll take that. I've decided to, I'm not going to just start picking up absolutely everything I come across. It's, I, I should have learned by now. Like I should have learned this back when I played Skyrim, which I did, and then I hadn't played an RPG for ages, and uh, here we are again. But, you know, my other trick is getting buggered in this game. I should just pick up everything I see. Anywho, um, so the next one we're looking for is called is uh, well actually it's another part of the races of Novigrad quest, which was that one that um, I didn't know what the quest name was last time involving the elven woman. Uh, that so it's one part is to do with a woman, and another is to do with the uh, male elf, and I believe he's down this way. Should be yeah, yes, here it is. Enough. You're gonna do nothing. Leave him alone. Boy, you a non-human file, is that it? If there's one thing I hate, it's to repeat myself. <laughs> Leave him be. Suave. Hey light! Got one eager for a lick in here. Oh. Let's show well. him what happens to freak lovers in Novigrad. Well, I'll show you what happens to freak haters. Even though they're not freaks. But you know, just to play on the words. Level seven, is that it? I didn't work out too well for you, did it? You guys gonna be a bit more grateful? 
If you hadn't intervened, they'd have snipped my ears like they did Phalar's. Or worse. Hmm. I'd leave Novigrad if I were you. How about that? Non-humans bother you as well? Me? No. The Eternal Fire, yes. They've got other scapegoats to burn right now, but it won't be long before they come for you. I don't believe they will. They'd not dare go that far. I was in Rivia in 1268, during the massacre. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Take care of yourselves now. Meaning? What would you have me do? Never leave my home, step off the pavement to let a human pass? Farewell. It's a tough situation, isn't it? But, um... Yeah, in fact, you know, I will take a ham sandwich. It'll probably help if I'm uh, stuck in a situation. Oh, they've all got sandwiches. They've got some fat scrum. Hey! Okay, and that is it, obviously. They're both on mark quests. Uh, it's just two different instances in which you can help out. So, yeah. Anyway, the next one we're looking for is a marked quest, and it's a bit longer, called the Dwarven Document Dilemma. Bit of alliteration. I like it. I think I think it's up this way near this bridge. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's with this guy over here. With rots and mugs. Okay. What do you want? Name's Mugs. Rost and Mugs. Need your help in a grave matter. Hmm. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Bum, bum, Smashed the bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I have a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Okay. Trick quest. Go to the place where monks were attacked and examine it using your witcher senses. Okie dokie. Can't have anyone robbing dwarves. Another group that's unfortunately the target of racism by humans. Moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Mm -hmm. Mugs was attacked here. Rightio. Um. What's he doing here? Hey, don't be getting sucky with me. I can be here as long as I want. All right. Well, he didn't go very far. Looks like he's gone to this place. Where's it an inn? Just a house. Oh no, we're going past it. Seven cats in. Oh no, yeah, we're in the uh, in the inn. Okie dokie. Uh, is it you? Good. Hmm. Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. <laughs> he lost. Demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Hmm. Um... Bit of practice, huh? Why not? Cards for them once. Care to play again? Hmm. You're clearly in the middle of a lucky streak. Could very well continue. You might be right. Let's play. <laughs> not gonna ask me for anything. Fair enough. Uh, right, let's stick with Northern Realms. Old Faithful. Um. Another one of those. On. Let's just go with it. He's playing Nilfgaard. All right. Just redraw it. No, I'm gonna keep Scotch. Um, I'll keep these. Oh, they're all good. Yeah, you know. I don't need to swap anything out. I'm good. Right. I'm gonna keep these two for now. Let's just see how he plays first. Uh, ooh, I don't like playing first because I need. I, I want to know what he's. Um, what cards he's playing. So I want to know if we can avoid. Oh, he's playing them straight away, is he? Is that so? Right, I'm gonna hold off. Ho <laughs> ho you cheeky swine. Well then, 
Might as well dispose of these. Still got old Roach keeping me in the game there. Place that one down as well, huh? It's not going to win you anything. <laughs> Fool. Okay. Um, let's go for the back row. I think that's all he had, really. Alright, let me give these guys a boost. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Hey, he's passed. Coward. Yay! Yay. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Um, hmm. Let's go for these geezers. <laughs> Those is bloody weather cards, aren't they? Okay, I don't, can't remember what my card is. Because a weather effect. Alright, sure. Sucks to be you, dude. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. You know, shall we, shall we rub salt with the wound? I think we should. Let's boost that. Up. Yeah, he's best. Uh, in fact, I shouldn't, because it might scotch my own cards. Uh, think about it. I was going to scotch his cards as well, but I forgot that it does all the best cards on the table. I think that's, um, that's a flawless victory. Hey, <laughs> I'm blind. Take the damn things. Let none say I ain't an honest man. <laughs> no, I'll only ever say kind things about you. Everything else? No. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll look at that not spot uh, in the future. But yeah, very good. Actually, can we can we read those documents? Anything of interest in there? Um, do that one. Titled property. I can't read it. Uh, okay. Wait, what's this? Wait, it's just the sandwiches. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Let's go give these documents back to mugs. All muggins of the mug. Bloody. The cheeky bastard. So, oh, yeah, you mugged me. You robbed me. It's like, mm, just because you're crap at Gwent. I mean, I'm not one to talk. I'm hardly the. Um, the master player of the people in this part of the map have kicked my ass. I reckon we should get more out of him. Found the thief who took your documents. I can't. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost him in my cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me Aunt Rosalie always say, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to the employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. I got a bit carried away. I lost them in a game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W w what was it to do? You weren't willing to give them back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show my face at home. Here. Now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. You not have it any other way. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well that's that done. A dwarven document dilemma. What should I get? One experience but all my days. Come on, game. Come on, I need bloody alright. Um hmm. Okay. Alright, this is actually the second part of Face Me If You Dare, which we're going to be doing next. But first I want to grab this, which is a smuggler's cache, if I'm not mistaken. Just as it's uh, a marker on the map, I might as well grab it. Let's go deep sea diving. Ooh. Right, let's find what we got. 
But I know I said I'm not looting everything. I, I, that just comes to people and uh, like crates and stuff like that. Like if they're actually like a, I can't, why can I grab this? It's not let me grab it. I don't get it. Oh, there you go. It comes to um, actual like caches and stuff like that. I will take everything. So I'm not sure that the market goes unless you do take everything. That's what's most important, really. I have to sell off all this crap that I don't need anyway. Alright, fantastic. Right on cue. Let's go and... Uh, deal with this Saki bastard. It's been a while since we've seen him. Right back at the start of Ellen, I think. Ronbud of the Small Marsh. You well, I might have seen him outside um, Cross Perch, actually. On, your ass here already? on God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. <laughs> Had enough? Yes, but next time. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Oh, yeah. yes. We shall see. <laughs> One hit, you fool. Jesus. Alright, another 25 points. Just shit your head up. Obviously, that's an ongoing um, unmarked quest. Alright, um. Next, I want to go speak to this shopkeeper. We should be able to play Gwent with this guy. I know we've just played Gwent, but that's not one that counts um, towards... Like, obviously, we didn't get a Gwent card from that. This guy should, I believe. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was uh, that post. I thought that was a guy with a really small head. I thought it was a glitch. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, uh, Ethel. Oh, holy hell. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Hmm. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. But once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Flanders. Okay, how's this? Hmm. He sells masks, and they're all really light and for one hmm we expect I'm supposed to meet with this guy at some future occasion and uh, buy those but you know we got we've got them now why not uh, okay just get all these ticked off wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards Okay, um, right, let's just try again with this one, I suppose. Ooh, Northern Oz, oh, we've got the same going card as well. Oh, it's a tie. What happens there?
<laughs> gotcha, that town bitch. Yeah. How'd you like them apples? Hey, thank you very much. Ten crowns and fire elemental. Cool. Greetings. Come to look over. Right, just sort of get this farewell out of the way. So long. So long. All right. Two attempts. Well, actually, no. It was technically one attempt because it ended up, ended up in a draw, which has never happened to me before. So, quite interesting. Okay, uh, dokey. Right, we got that. Now I want to find the gate of the hierarch. Is it hierarch? Is that what it says? It is. And I think it's this one. Um, or it might be a bit further south. It doesn't matter because we're not going down there yet. I think it's this here. Yes, it is. Okay. But first of all, we're going to head to this baby because it's another smuggler's cache. Nope. That. 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 So we'll snag a Rooney this way. Let's just snag a Rooney. It's a weird word. Smugglers. We. Right. Oh, don't even have to. You don't even have to dive. Maybe you didn't have to dive at all. That could be a thing. <laughs> Maybe I wasted my time before. Who knows? Okay, got that. Uh, we're gonna head across the bridge. We've basically, I think, we're done on this island. Like, we may end up coming back for certain missions and quests and stuff in the future, but I think that's about it for this this uh, little southern bit. It's all good. If we cross over, we should have in this building here, I believe, um, the Rosemary and Thyme, which is the brothel of Velen. Not Velen, Novigrad. I suppose that's what it says. Uh, no, well, I don't know. Is it? Hmm. Doesn't seem very cheery, does it? This bit seems to be like bustling with atmosphere, like that one that's in. Um, the trade is it the trade course or the temple quarter in in Vizima, where the the brothel was there. It could be. I mean, I've not even seen any women. To be fair, I could be in the wrong building. It might be in the wrong building. I think. Was <laughs> it like because it's populated later? But I don't see that being the thing. Oh, we have chest here. Yeah, I don't even have an innkeeper here, which is what I'm looking for, so I'm taking me in the wrong building. I'm fairly sure that is, but it might not be. It looks like it, look, it's got the sign. But, I'm gonna wait a bit. Um, until midday. No? Hmm, apparently not. Okay. Still think what a mount it does, but we might have to return later. Something like that, I suppose. Okay. Um, the next thing I've got marked is to do the Pies of Novigrad. So, I guess... Oh, let me get this started. I was expecting to this for this to be the... Um, the outline of episode 53 and we are getting close to the end of the episode literally within a, within a couple of minutes oh hello what's going on here I didn't look this one up so I don't know what this is that slander to my face readily you are a mutant a freak a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? 
<laughs> There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slick between his legs. Come on, people. Mm, not that bad, did you? Yeah, that's right. Get out of my face. Uh, yeah, hmm, okay. Interesting. That seems a simple enough quest. Uh, oh my. What's up in here? Not a better uh, mattress. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, looky. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. No, no, don't. No, no more, please. Where's the sorceress who lived here? Most likely I get in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple of God's cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you've got to get there through the sewers, but you've got to enter them outside of town. If you know where exactly, though, ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves got to pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king, crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects. Deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Shove on call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, Sorcerers, mages of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. Hmm. So this is gonna go. Oops. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Punch him. <laughs> oh well. He's going to be like the bloody, um, what's it called? That arsehole in Flotsam. Okay, let's, um, well, if anyone should get it, I think it should be, um, 
Gerald. Oh, I'm offering cupboard. Come on, I was even being selective. The conjunction of the spheres. Scholars have many vices, possibly the worst among them is a tendency to, to describe the simple in unnecessarily complex terms, to dress the plane in the garb of false learning. The conjunction of the spheres might serve as an excellent example of this. This name, so mysterious to a commoner's ear, could be replaced with a much simpler alternative, when the worlds collided. The phenomenon itself can also be explained in terms simple enough for a child to understand. Imagine, dear reader, that our world is a ship sailing on a great sea. From its deck we can see other, distant vessels. Those are in the stars. Their vessels each bear their own goods and their own crews. They usually pass us at some distance, barely visible specks, even viewed through a spyglass. Once every few thousand years, however, a storm breaks above this cosmic sea. A storm so strong it tosses the ships towards one another, making them sail cheap by jowl. Part of the crew of one ship can't at such times move to another, and some of the cargo from one ship hold can spill into a neighbouring vessel. When the weather calms, the ships separate once again and sail the separate in invariably different ways. The so-called post-conjunction beings, nearly monsters such as ghouls and basilisks, are precisely such passengers from another vessel, and we humans are castaways, flung against our will from somewhere far away onto a world previously inhabited by the Elder Races. Once here, we learn the arcane mysteries of magic, unbeknownst to us before. Could the worlds collide once more? Perhaps. Can this cataclysm be avoided, or the opposite, hastened? Some scholars believe there are beings who have mastered this skill, who possess rare genes allow which which some to seize the helm of our vessel that steer us to safer waters or to our doom. Mm, okay. Yeah, right, let's have a look at our glossary bestiary. That's not changed. Tutorial new characters books. These two. Oh, that was from last time, wasn't it? Do we not have um celebrate that not? But, uh, uh didn't that did change, okay. Um yeah. We know all this inventory. Anything better than what I've got? Don't think so. New. Wait, where's the sum act? No. Uh, so we've got all these masks. I don't know when they're going to come into effect. But I guess we'll find out soon. World maps. Obviously, we've been in Novigrad today, but we've basically cleared up this entire area. We're in Southern Gate, Trusagor Gate, and Gate of the High Rack. We've got the two smugglers' caches, and the seven cast in. Uh, we're just back into Hyrax Square quests. Uh, unfortunately, the majority of the ones we've done today are uh, unmarked quests, although we have done, uh, if you can find it, the Dwarven Document Dilemma. That's only a level 2 quest, although I guess we didn't really have any combat in there at all, did we? Character, we have not leveled up. Um, we've meditated till midday, don't really need to, but there you go. Alright, fantastic. And we'll save the game there. Alright, there we go. That's where we're going to end it for today. Next episode, we'll be continuing on with the Pies of Novigrad. Hopefully, we'll bump into Triss and see what the dealio is with that and see if she's seen Siri at all. Before I wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. And on screen, no secrets, my £1 patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to top of the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to become a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Everything